Welcome back to Western Mass News. I'm Matt Tatilli, joined alongside by Don Maher, and we are miraculously dry in the studio. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem to end, and we had like a day and a half that was nice, and we're we back had, in it. We had Thursday. Yes. We had Thursday. That was a nice day. Then we had uh, we had some showers and storms yesterday, but this afternoon, we're all getting in on the uh, on the action this afternoon. I mean, the radar's lit up like a Christmas tree right now. That map that you showed where we got over an inch of rain in some communities in about yeah. 25 minutes, that is crazy to hear. Some I'm up near Huntington, over three inches. Oh, my so goodness. The, I mean, the rain, these storms are not moving all that fast. So they're putting down large amounts of rainfall in a very short period of time. Combine that with the fact that the ground is just so saturated from all the rain we've seen, it's not surprising that we are seeing some flash flooding. Now, the only severe thunderstorm warning that is currently in effect is out in Berkshire County till 6.30 p.m. Pittsfield, the Great Barrington area, as these showers and thunderstorms are kind of lifting off to the north-northeast, but they're not moving all that fast only around 15, 20 miles per hour. But what you do see is you see a lot of red. These are all flash flood warnings. And we have a new one that's just come out within the last few minutes. So we'll go through them one by one. Flash flood warning. Cities affected Agawam, East Long Meadow, Springfield, West Springfield. That is in effect until 8 o'clock this evening. Then we move a little bit further to the north and northeast. We have another flash flood warning. This one in effect till 8.45 p.m. This includes cities like Chicopee, Holyoke, Ludlow, and South Hadley. And then the new flash flood warning that has come out. This encompasses northwestern portions of Hamden County into central Hampshire County. Cities like East Hampton, Huntington, Northampton, Southampton. That is in effect until 9.15 this evening. And I would expect as these thunderstorms continue to slowly lift on off to the north and to the northeast, we may see some additional flash flood warnings begin to come out. So bottom line is if you are heading out this evening, you do come across roadways that are floated, turn around, don't try to drive through those floodwaters, find yourself an alternate route. And as Matt and I were just talking about, some of the rainfall amounts that we have seen, Huntington picking up just over three inches of rain. You get along Route 202, Holyoke towards the Granby, South Hadley area, about an inch and a half. Here in the Springfield area, about an inch and three quarters of rain that fell as these thunderstorms moved through. Now we still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect till 11 p.m. and this encompasses all of Western Massachusetts, Hampton, Hampshire, Franklin, and Berkshire County. We also have a flash flood watch in effect. That is in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for Franklin, Hampshire, and Hampton County. For Berkshire County, that is in effect until noon tomorrow. And these areas in red, as we just talked about, those are flash flood warnings. And we see another flash flood warning coming out for Worcester County at this time. You see on our Monarch Place sky cam, though, at least for now, the bulk of the rain has lifted on off to our north. Temperatures were in the lower 70s, so it is is still mild, but it's also very muggy because dew points continue to run in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And even though temperatures tomorrow are going to be a little bit cooler with highs only in the lower 70s, it's still going to be very muggy because we're still talking about dew points that are once again going to be running in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So showers and thunderstorms likely this evening. The shower threat lingers into the overnight as well. A damp day tomorrow with clouds, showers, perhaps a thunderstorm. Monday, we may be a little bit drier. I'll be looking at the model data as it continues to come in tonight, but looks like there will continue to be the chance for a couple of spots. Showers around, so still a bit unsettled around here. And even as we get towards Tuesday, still going to be the chance for an isolated shower and thunderstorm. So you take a look at the radar. You can see the storms lifting on up to the north. We zoom this out a little bit. Some more showers to our south. Flash flood warnings in parts of Connecticut as well. All part of a stalled out front. That's what is bringing this rain in here. We'll continue to see the shower threat lingering tonight and into tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow, low to middle 70s. Upper 70s on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, once again, the thunderstorm threat is back each afternoon. Little bit better chance on Wednesday. Holding out some optimism, though, that as we head towards the end of the week, we finally get a drier air pattern in here with less humidity and drier conditions, temperatures in the lower 80s. Match forecast, everyone. Have a great evening. Matt, back over to you.